to the Anime Izakaya podcast. We have week one of the spring 2020 season on this Ooh. show. <laughs> on this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello, guys. Next up, we have Ku. Yo. And finally, we have Brian. Dude, why was I introduced after Ku? What? What is this? <laughs> because you're so not you're as special as me. <laughs> you, you feel disrespected. <laughs> Seniority. God. That threw me off, man. I just, Brian, I don't know if it, I don't know if you want to be uh, number one. I just, basically, I just, just says, start like, by Stren, and then I just go whoever's next in that order. So, since, since Stren always makes a fuss about not being first, always I did it once. <laughs> always, and it was amazing. <laughs> it I did it once. And it only happened once, so it's a hundred percent. Still got triggered. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, just a couple of anime news, I guess. Like the most obvious one. It's here Academia season five was announced, but I mean at this point, like you should expect it every season. So I don't know if, why anyone would be surprised. Well, not every season, but I mean at it's least been happening the past like it's a long running Shonen in Weekly Shonen Jump. Did you you mean every year? Every year, that's what I meant. Yeah, I meant at the, the okay, at, at the end of every season, you should expect like the next season News. announcement. Oh. So there's that, and then um. Oh, the, the Konosuba light novels got end in May because the seventeenth uh, volume is gonna be the last one. Rip. So I don't know if you people really care about the lore about Konosuba that much, but if you do, it's it's gonna end. So I, Dude, I hope the anime comes out. It's been a while, so I, I don't. So I mean, I guess the movie did just come out last year, but I, I don't. Know, I feel like it would have been announced by now. God, like, if, after, if the rest is after the movie, so if the rest of the series is anything like that movie, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like old, Brian, did you ever see that movie? Yep. Okay. Just yeah. okay. Yeah. So, and then also just quick mention too, um, the Digimon. I got apparently just got a reboot. I had no idea this was going on because they had the whole Same. they had the movies going on with they had like six movies, but like the timeline was so weird because it was in, in high school, so I didn't know if that like retconned like Digimon Adventures season two or what was going on with that. <laughs> And so I don't even mention it here just because I might actually watch it later, but we're not going to discuss it for this week. So just want to mention yeah. that. I'm, I might be watching it too, just because I never watched it before because I, I was a Pokemon only kid. Dude, just so, should, uh, should I watch the original, man. Digimon, dude, this is my... Digimon, like Pokemon was a better you know, card, card game. game. Digimon yeah. is the better anime. Yeah, that's what I heard from like, a lot of people. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can get to it. But uh, I would watch this new anime because it looks a lot nicer to me. Okay. The other so. one looks. The other one looks too nineties. Dude, that's, that's the charm. Oh no, shit! That's the charm, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that would only work for me, like if I actually had like some sort of like nostalgia for it. I have no nostalgia for Digimon, Dude, besides the uh, besides the Virtual Pet, it was, which I got the twentieth anniversary it was, one. It was like it was like it was DBZ, Digimon, and Yu Gi Oh. That was like on <laughs> Toonami every, after school. That, that's that was, what that was my that was what I watch. So. That was the thing with Digimon. I didn't care about the show, didn't care about the card game, but I like, but I love the virtual. <laughs> it was all like in like the the block, so I watched all of it. So okay, but, yeah, that's just Digimon. Um, and then yeah, so we're gonna move on. Uh, so we had High Q and uh Hero Academia and uh this week, but we're gonna save Hero Academia at the end where we wait till Sasha gets on. So we're gonna start with High Q to the top, and fast over to you guys. Yes, Ren. Uh, you can go first. Fly, I was gonna, I was gonna... <laughs> that is the rock season. That, that song was not I'll there. That song gets me hyped up, man. Dude, I'll but you didn't like it. his other songs? Oh uh, my god, the other songs were way better. Season three was good. Season two and three are like the best. Season... You didn't like the season four song? Season four is all right. Mm, yeah, I mean, two, three, and then I forgot the first season, so I can't really say. Same. They were bad. I actually I just assumed they were because I didn't I didn't download them. You're a bum. <laughs> uh, well, I guess for the kind of review, I know uh, me and Ku talked quite a bit about it like this season. So I don't know if Brian, if you want to give your, uh, if you want to speak first for this anime, the anime in general. I feel like yeah, I did this is the time. review episode. The sir. Re- this is uh, the review, dude. What? The review. Speak your minds. Speak your mind, sir. It's okay. Uh, first, I mean, we second, oh, I and third season oh, oh, was oh, oh, top oh, oh, notch, <laughs> ten out of ten. What beat my 
Four seasons. Uh, all right. Okay, hold on. All right. But before we do the review, I forgot, we should probably talk about the last episode because the last episode, or these last two episodes, I thought were way better than the rest of the season. I mean, these this literally this last episode was just setting up for the next match. This is literally Dude, it. But the another one, like one of my you know my main complaints that I've always had, like the animation looked fine. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm getting used to the animation or if it actually got better. <laughs> you're getting you're getting used to it. <laughs> oh God, that's, that's what it is. God, but um. Uh, I don't know because a lot of the shots they looked really good, but then again, there wasn't like any kind of action shots. It was definitely setting it up like it was hyping up the next the next round, and uh, it de- it seems like they're gonna have quite a bit of a of a match this second round. They seem to be if uh, what the second seed. Yep. So they're basically facing the second best school uh, in the second round, which just seems uh, insane. Second. Well, I mean, they're they're second seed, but they're projected to literally win the entire thing. Right. So they're like oh. second seed, but like fucking just god mode. Top right? tier. Oh god, yeah. Yo, how are but... you gonna have twins in this man? That's like cheating. <laughs> how is it cheating, bro? Uh... I don't know. It's like they have like already synergy in the womb, so it's like they're OP as fuck. Damn. So they, they... <laughs> the David looks up. <laughs> it's it's basically they've been training since before birth. Exactly, dude. For this uh, moment, this I, is I, OP power. I don't think before. that's how it works, dude. But, okay. Ask some twins. They have some weird ass like mental connection. It's weird, dude. Uh, I'll agree, yeah, I'm, I'll agree, yes, I'll agree yes. to an extent of I'm that. I'm sure Brian. <laughs> Brian will tell us all his knowledge from all those scientifically uh, researched papers yeah, that he read <laughs> that, were, that were peer reviewed. Yeah. I think you're watching too much anime. I don't think that's how it really works. But okay. Dude, we, explain we, their. We have, explain what is this move called? I'm trying to find their fucking special move that they came up with. Plenty of. You guys can keep going. I'll find the move. The, are, you, are you talking about like where they they basically like switch places? Yeah, um, like the the last second delay soul switch or some man, shit. Like that was just, that, that's just really lame. Yeah, it was, it was pretty. <laughs> that's lame. lame, bro. I think so. Yeah, it was pretty lame, dude. I don't know. Soul I mean, swap delayed spike, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's like some I mean, cheating shit. I, I mean, I thought that was, a, I don't know. Like when they first announced it, I was like, oh God, this is going to be lame, but they're going to make it seem the, the, like the most epic lame? thing in the world. So, dude, are you calling special moves in this anime lame? I'm a beat your ass. Shit. Only that one. Dude. Are you calling Rolling <laughs> Thunder oh, lame? Boy. No, I, I was about to say Nish- uh, Nishinoya's Rolling Thunder is the best. You can't top that. Soul Switch? Get the hell out of here. This Soul is a DBZ. Swap. Get your shit Soul shit. Swap, whatever. Give it more DBZ. <laughs> Um, uh, I don't yeah. know. I still also, dude, Tanaka. I was ready to kill that man. Do it. What? <laughs> no, dude, my man has a chance. No, yeah, my but then he basically no. is like, oh, my heart's no. somewhere else. Man, this again, this holds the belief the childhood friend never wins. Hey, Matt, no, this child does friend sometimes. Is gonna get it in does some guts, boy. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be honest because Tanaka has no shot with that other chick. <laughs> I forgot her name, um, bro. But but with her, he feels alive. So it's okay. Yeah, it's because he, just... he keeps getting rejected. He likes that. What do you mean? He feels a lot. This man just said that he just <laughs> okay, feels like he was just born because he has a chance. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I mean, I'm rooting for the this uh, the childhood friend because Hell, uh, yeah, they, dude. they usually dude, never win. So this show will prove you guys wrong. Childhood friend. I hope so. Girl. I hope so. Would no, see, see, Ryu is a true man. All right, he doesn't just give up because he's been rejected once or twice or ten times. He the band keeps going. That's, all right, that's being you can't, you can't knock a man. No, they can no, school no, together. Not, not Japanese okay. standards. That's normal. It's in the norm. Yep. Um. Oh God. What else? Uh, what else? Like besides that, I mean, I don't. It sounds like kind of setting everything up. That's about it. That's yeah. That's um, really the entire episode. Yeah. Well, actually, I was surprised that they played a couple points. I, I thought that was really weird. <laughs> I thought like, okay, they're gonna end it right here at the beginning, and then like three points later, then I'm, then they end it. I thought that was a. I really hated with how they ended the se- uh the season. I mean, they should have done this for the very first match, not the second match. Leave it as a cliffhanger. It's it just leaves it with so much of a blue ball feeling, right? That you just you want it now, but you can't <laughs> get it until the next season starts. It's so annoying, and it's yeah. going to be like the most important match of the entire tournament. Yeah, because I mean, this ma- this match they could easily lose it, but they could also win it as well. Like it's it's right. It's very tough to tell. Hey, calm, calm what's going to happen? Cool. No, no, you don't <laughs> fucking leave a season on a major important match, all right? A, Especially yeah, against the one that's point. destined to win. Yeah, it's yeah. it's horrible. It's it's horrible. No, I'm just like, kidding. I, I, it wouldn't be so bad if they legit right after announced, hey, another season's come out in like 
fucking six months. Nope. Didn't get jacked. Actually, I lied. The second season comes out in summer. Summer. I, yeah. I definitely thought like a better place would have been like you know like when that guy. Uh, I think the one of the twins when he served it like that first point. I think it would have been way better if they basically just like you know just like went to black like right like right when, right when he hit the ball and then basically you know continued in season two. No, I think it would have been I, even worse. I think after the introductions nah. of the teams, I think that would have been fine. I'm not gonna lie. This last episode pretty much wrapped up the entire season, so yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah, but was it worth? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, let's just say the season's worth for a setup season. How about that? That's that sounds like filler. If 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 you're like me, you've been watching since day one, and you've been waiting forever. Yeah, people this, like this is a horrible way to end it. Kind of just get kicked in the nuts, and then just like you just uh, get no. Excuse me, it's called that. blue balled. Yeah, but he's if you're if you're no, binge watching this he, and the next season, you'll be fine. I mean, it's not like he's in pain. He's just like he's just waiting. He, he's waiting to come. Yeah, for for three months, maybe. <laughs> hopefully, oh god, I can't even imagine. No. What if it was three years, guys? What <laughs> what if? Oh god. I mean, you're, hey you're, man, you're be waiting to come for three years with with Corona going around. Just might be in three years. You never know. True. Yeah. <laughs> you just got it so <sighs> You guys don't understand, all right? You just don't understand. Three years for just a setup? What the it's fuck? like it's like getting deployed like for like a year, coming back, and then your girlfriend doesn't get you off. She just <laughs> teases you uh, a little bit. He, and says, yeah, you can you can get some in next week or something. You sound it's like just... you speak from experience. No, no, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, horrible. Just, just horrible. What? Oh, hello, Strand. Goodbye, Strand. I mean, oh, uh, I see. He also has blue balls. He might have to uh, relieve himself somehow, yeah. some way. I think we just leave it on that. For... <laughs> yeah. But you, you guys don't want anything else for IQ? Uh, I mean, other than I'm, I'm just hoping. I'm hoping that they they come out the next season, like in fall. At, at the earliest or latest. Uh, if it gets delayed anymore, I don't know. It, it's kind of I thought it was already announced for but, summer. Uh, yeah, it's it's announced for summer. Is it? Okay. At least that's what my anime list says. I mean, I could see it being delayed for, by summer to like fall, but I'm pretty sure they, yeah, it was already announced as a split between like, you know, winter, then take a break, and then summer. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, with the Corona 19 oh, or yeah. COVID 19, I'd probably say fall. We'll see. Yeah. But uh, yep, that's it. Blue balls. That's it for me. <laughs> All right. So I guess that's how we're gonna wrap up IQ for winter season. Um, and we're at um, so we're transitioning over to spring, and we're first talking about Tower of God because this was basically the only show that came out so far. Every uh, a lot of the shows are gonna come out um by this week, and we'll discuss them on the next week's episode. And then and then for some reason Sword Art doesn't come out the twenty fifth, so I'll have to wait till then. But so we're just gonna start with Tower of God. I was hoping Stren was here because we, <laughs> I don't know, I need his input on this this show. But I guess, um, the first thing I want to say is the opening song is is on fire. So that's all I want. That's what, that's mean, why I was. You mean it's lit. lit? It is lit. <laughs> no one, no one says, no one says on all fire anymore, like sir. A bunch of <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Welcome to the show, Brian. Oh shit! Right, so, I, I wish Ryan was here because, like, <laughs> God damn. That's funny because I'm the old man and he said it. <laughs> All right, so I wish Ryan was here because, like, I need to talk about the animation because, because, like, I didn't think okay, because Ryan mentioned like the animation, like I had to, I just thought about it and then like it. It threw me off, but I, I didn't mind as much. But like, I wouldn't have n- mentioned like mention it if it wasn't for fucking Stred. So what do you mean? Like it's it's kind of outdated, kind of ninety shows. So like for the anime, they're so far they're just trying to keep it in line with like how the manga was I or the whatever the fuck they call but, it. Like the webtoons are usually like they're more color. Yeah. It it was I don't even remember. I think I'm pretty sure it's a webtoon, so it's fully colored. Yeah. So yeah, it was a webtoon. Hey, look, welcome back, muted, and no cam. Ooh. You fucking loser. Cause um, usually for anime, like you expect like the colors to be more more clean, whereas this one, it felt like it had like it felt more crude. Like it had like like some of the colorings like didn't finish. So, 
I kind of, I kind of like it though. If it's, yeah, with the theme of the show, I think it fits fairly well. Is Rennie there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay, well, we're talking about Tower of God right now. Oh, okay. So I need like again mention animation because like it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have noticed anything weird. But now, but not because you said it. Like I just had to mention animation. Like it looks weird. Yeah, Yeah, it certain ruins it. Look weird. Just like everything else. I tell the truth. That's what no, I you just, just ruined things lies, for people. <laughs> you just ruined it for people. I don't well, know why. Wait, what happened with high Q scores? What did you guys give it? Oh, you want to score high Q? I'll, uh, I'll give the last season a solid eight. Two blue balls out of ten, sir. <laughs> so an eight. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Okay, I gave it a six or seven. What the? What fuck? really? Yep. You're just a hate on sports, bro. Dude, I give all the other seasons like nine and tens, but uh, this one was tough to get into. If you didn't give season one and two a ten, you're not worthy. Oh, okay. Anyways, Tower of God. Yes. Okay. Moving so on. That's why I will say. Apparently, animation. according to David, the the opening song was on fire, <laughs> or as I like to call it, it's lit. <laughs> right. it, it was a good song. I'm definitely checking out their songs later. The other songs, maybe yeah, probably the uh, second. Uh, K-pop right. for the win, dude. I, like I'm I said, K-pop did it better. But um, yeah, rebuttal. Eh, it's whatever. So, oh, dude, I was. Oh, it says K-pop. Fight. It was Japanese. It's Japanese. The song it's was Japanese. Korean. Yeah, but it's, it's you can tell it's, yeah, Korean, it's Korean, man. Band. Like you can tell like by their voice and how they sing. You can tell yeah, that's dude, Korean. Legit person that I was yeah. talking to while he was watching the episode was like, "Dude, is this BTS?" I'm like, "No, it's not BTS. Pretty sure they will not do this shit." Well, I have no idea. I don't know. It, it, I don't know their life. You can you can tell by like the vibe of the song. Yeah, but it's clearly like Korean influence. Yeah, you could, like mm-hmm. yeah. Influence. Yep. Uh, so not I guess, bad intro. Not bad. Uh, I just for me uh, first episode. Oh what? I was, no, I was gonna say like, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on on the actual like what do you think of first episode? Uh, for first episode. Uh, I mean, the only reason why I even watched this one to begin with is because people are telling me, dude, the fucking webtoon is so good, dude. It's like Korea's One Piece. I'm like, I'll give it a shot. But yeah. for first episode, dude, I'm giving it like a fucking six. Just like, jeez, it's it's it doesn't catch my attention. Like, I, I'll like, agree that like it wasn't um, it's not the best first episode because I can give you a hook. So if you're not familiar, yeah, if you're not familiar with the hype, then like you wouldn't really see why people are hyping up. So yeah, I, yeah. I do agree with that. Yeah, I was like, I don't know why this is so hype. This first episode's kind of booty. Yeah, they kind of def- they definitely throw you into it, in a sense, with really not more knowing too much about it. Besides, like, what you you're basically granted anything at the top or at the top of the tower. Um, I mean, my biggest problem was like they didn't really explain like the powers as much. It seems like, like I don't even know what the main character does. Right? So he grabbed that other girl's sword and can use it, but. I mean, yeah. I could tell you what like the main premise is, but that might be treading into <laughs> spoiler Spoilers area. So. Yeah, well, I think it'll probably take like uh, three or four episodes for you to kind of get a feel for the entire yeah. series. I mean, because they're just what, throwing you into it. Yeah, what other people were saying is like what they should have done, because like it it starts really slow according to the people that read the shit. It starts very slow, so what they were saying is that they should have done like an hour first episode. Oh, okay. Catch everything up, but you know they can't do that shit. Yeah. I mean, how does the uh, how does the actual webtoon start? Because I'm assuming it doesn't start in a tower, right? There's got to be some backstory oh, between it, them it and Rachel, starts right? The same exact way. Really? Yeah, oh. I read like the first chapter of the webtoon and it pretty much starts the same way like he and the guy and the girl are just running in that hallway and then she goes through the tower it's literally how it starts in webtoon yeah because i was so confused they're they've been to the tower already or how do they know no, about it um did, i think i'm pretty like sure a calling or some shit it's like the way i'm just guessing it, it sounds like um the tower is like a legend or or it's like you know everyone knows that if you climb the tower you get a wish so Right, but where is it? How do you get there? Blah blah blah. Yeah, explain that. Well, it's it's yeah. like it's like right. Damachi's you know thing where it's just like this giant tower out of nowhere. Or no, at least nowhere. with Damachi, there was some kind of structure. Here, you don't really know anything other than the lore that if you climb this tower, you get whatever your heart wants, yeah. and that's it. I think you it's, know, it's there's just... no structure, there's no backstory of the characters or anything. See, that's, yet. see, that's the thing of like whenever like whenever like like you know anime or manga or webtoons, whenever they do like towers or labyrinths it's always that's like the main like 
that's like the main setting. They never er explain like the world outside it. So I don't really expect anything different from this one. Yeah, especially it's only um, I think they only have it down for 13 episodes, too. Yeah. So it's like, we're not going to get much (laughs) from this. Yeah. My buddy is like freaking out about it. He's like, yeah. I would assume they cover a lot. If they do, they have to cut a lot of shit out. I would assume it's like enough to maybe just well, kind of get it set, just to see the you know like the was it the the was it the reception for it? I mean, and just to see if it's been running for a decade, so they're not gonna they're not gonna like I don't know. I feel like it'd be a waste to rush it because there's so much stuff you have to rush. Yeah, I I, I agree with that. <clears throat> I mean, if if you do rush it, terrible idea. Yeah, but. Right. I- but they're, they're definitely going to, right? With how long it's been running and how the first season, or how the first episode is setting up the, the story so far, I feel like they're just going to rush everything. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, 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 it's just I feel like because, um, be because it's it's a cultural original, so like I feel like they have the most control over it. And I would assume they know, like, like do they know how like how <laughs> they, their audience would feel, but you never know. No. Just so, know. They never pay attention <laughs> to the audience. They don't. Come on, bro. So, I mean, one can hope, but no. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, we'll see. I, like, what, when it's like, when it's a streaming site, like an international streaming site, like that has more control over it, I trust them than like if this is for like just a Japanese audience. So, and I don't even think it's meant for a Japanese audience, just because like even though it's like the voice acting's in Japanese, like it's mainly it, it's, I mean, it's a Korean webtoon, and like it's mainly for like. You know the international audience. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does give me like a '90s vibe of all the animes I used to watch back in like early 2000s. So I, I do wise, like it. Or yeah, animation wise, yeah. Right. So I, I do like it. Um, I I just hope that everything else can follow through with it. Yep, yeah. I'm gonna continue. I'm not gonna just drop it. Uh, but it's definitely confusing. Uh, I don't really care about any of the characters yet. I also think it's a really weak dick. Uh, excuse like where it's where she's like basically oh I want to like see the stars and all this other stuff. I think I was like I just want to see you again. It's like really can you sound more Korean? God, uh, <laughs> I didn't think about like that. It's not, it's not, yeah, for me, it's not for Korean the K dramas. Are you kidding me? K dramas is always just like I mean, not, basically want to spend that, the last second until the, the death. It's just like you don't want to go anywhere. That's like anime in general. Like Dude, that's it's, that's I should actually I should actually say that's like Serbian too. Like in Serbia, it's basically about the the chicks are like the, all the songs are basically wanting the, the chicks wanting to party, and all the dudes is basically just like crying. It's like basically wanting them back. It's like <laughs> oh god, Damn. why? Seren, do you do you have a thing? Do you have a hate for K dramas by chance? Just just I don't, oh, yeah, he does. I, I, I hate them because they're depressing. <laughs> I, what I are like you talking about, comedies. bro? Yeah, Dude. I, okay. When you go into a K drama, you're just expecting okay, either somebody dies from cancer or there's just like some or or something else. It's okay, one of the, one that's, of the that's not all of them. That's just it, it is a popular thing. It's, it's a popular theme, but that's not all of them. You need okay. a chaser. I mean, oh, okay. it's, it's the same right. thing. Same thing with like chasing the girl. It's like it's like it's. I don't know. It's nothing new, so I don't know why you're surprised. I just thought it was lame. I was like, oh, come on, dude. Like, you don't but you like, don't want like a wish or anything. You just it's like she just disappeared. You just saw her. And so well, like, I, give it a give it a day or so. You know, like, but <laughs> well, that's the thing. We don't we don't know the relationship, right? Like, what if that's his only friend? Like, what all, if all know, that's the one that took care of him? I mean, you know, we, we know don't know she, the backstory. All, all we know is she found him in a hole. That's all we know. So probably far. she's probably the only other person he's ever met so that's probably why he has such a right. strong attachment and he's he was a young kid so like i guess yeah we really don't know the world it just seems like everybody's in a dungeon um the one thing I, that, okay th- like this is not i don't know this is one thing that confused me it's not really, like a negative but just like something i just point out like i just because um because the main guy he seems like he's from like, some he's dressed like some like fantasy character but then like you have these other people with, like their school uniforms, like like Jiri, that like, the princess, <laughs> she looks like you know like, like a high school uniform. And then there's like the the guy with the blue hair, he's wearing like a school uniform too. But it's like I don't know. Oh. I thought I thought there was like a fantasy like setting. So it's just yeah, yeah. I do. It's, it's a fantasy setting, but it's fantasy. Oh, like, and then and then the, this I thought it was dumb. Like how the chick there's the chick with the 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 bow and arrow. And then she gets sniped with like the guy with the sniper <laughs> rifle. I'm like, oh my god, how's that even fair? Yeah, like it's basically that's not fair. And then the guy that's sniping gets stabbed. Was it stabbed in the back or something? No, he gets just, like he's, no, he just his gun. Dude, it's like my guy. Okay. All right, so dude, that guy just, is the sniper though. Like really, you don't understand. You don't hear that coming. Sorry, Brian. Go ahead. 
<laughs> what do you mean here a sniper? What? No, no, no. Because the sniper was, he was, you know, obviously he was sniping, but then he gets like hit in the back or something. It's just like, bro, like you're supposed to be a sniper. Oh, no. Like, so he doesn't get hit in the back. What's going on around you? That crocodile looking dude is yeah. going to be my favorite character. He looks badass. From like what I've been told and what I've seen so far, he's going to be like a favorite character. <laughs> but he looks awesome. That dude is just the master hunter, apparently, because this man is legit just finding power levels of just weapons. Be like, yes, you're the one I want to find. Like, yeah. yeah, my guy, somehow... alpha as fuck. Let's go. <laughs> and he has a hundred sneak when he's uh, 10, 10, 10, and five hundred pounds. Hell yeah, dude! The, when you're a master huntsman, it doesn't matter. Look at tigers and shit, dude. They're like oh, five hundred pounds and they're quiet as fuck. I played Skyrim with giant characters with one hundred percent sneak and gotten away with it. Uh, yeah, okay. that that doesn't apply to everything, sir. But okay. Hey, man. Skyrim's been like the you know law for was it like last? It seems like the last twenty years. The game the game doesn't die. Even though it came out no. in twenty eleven. Right. Whatever, David. She, she just quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Holy right. shit! All right. But, um, oh, and the other thing too is like, of course, it starts with battle royale. Because why not? So of course. Oh, well, I don't want that. I mean, like, not, bro. I we only mention it now because like it's. It's a popular genre now, but I guess like back then, like so many animes and mangas kept doing battle royale. So yeah, you start with a battle royale battle when you're royale. at level one. And, 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 and I mean, can't go and, bad. And for us, like like me and Kuo, we just finished Darwin's game, so now we have another battle royale. Yeah, I mean, but then it kind of makes sense, all right. If you're gonna rush, you gotta like kind of dilute the the character cast. This is probably the best way to do it. Battle royale. I, mean, I, don't, for I, mean, I, I guess I don't know about rush, but like. Because again, I'm like like I'm saying, it, it it gives off that vibe that it's going to be rushed. There's no backstory. You're you're thrown into this. No, with I think that's, tons of other characters. I think that was like part of the original webtoon because like you don't need to start with 400 people. You could have most by royales. They start they do like 10 or something. But well, it was already uh, down to like wasn't it already down like under 300. Yeah, it was like down yeah. to like over half by the end of the episode. Like that mm. shit went down really fast. Yeah, it, so it should be over. I would assume next episode. Yeah, I would imagine so. Unless they do like some kind of, yeah. Let's say just add to, like say the main cast all their backstories. I guess I guess that could be a thing. I'm not sure. I don't know if they do that in a 13 episode season. So I think it just maybe I assume it's, it's the main character that they got focused on. Maybe the other characters a little bit. Uh, I mean, if anything, I would imagine they would uh, expand more on a princess and why she speaks a different language, right? Like why she is a princess in this weird tower of that they're in i would assume they're all from different like universes yeah. or times but, or in but she knew, she knew, um, she knew the, the tower keeper though so i guess i'm interested in too and i assume that yeah she's the, i assume uh, like the, the tower keeper like we're not gonna know about him until way later he seems like a <laughs> like a yeah like a like mid-season right like or end boss type of type of thing it feels like the tower has its own royal family in a sense, right? Like she knows the the gatekeeper, so maybe, and she is a princess, so maybe she's a princess of the tower, if if that makes sense. And whoever this king is, I I don't know how they rule or how they govern this tower, but uh, there's there's got to be something else here that we're missing mm-hmm. that's really important. I'm sure they read they they'll explain it later. I hope. But so far, I mean, it's 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 fine. It's fine. Like if you didn't know anything about Tower of God, like um, this first episode, I didn't know a damn thing. this first episode didn't really like pull you in as much. But like, yeah, give it three or four. Yeah, okay. basically, it's like it's like the the anime rules, just like you know, it's the start of the season. So it, first episode was interesting, or even if it didn't interest you, the first episode, I guess maybe wait till next episode before before like dropping, unless you really hate the first episode. Yeah. Yep. But I think I'm good. I think I'm done. All right. So then that's just going to be it for Tower of God. Um, then we're going to move on next to our previews because these are shows that haven't um, come out yet. So we're going to talk about um, My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu. I assume this is yeah. Trends most anticipated for. Yeah. Like, I love how I've mentioned before in previous ones, like this is really good. Yeah. This is going to be my number one show. I guess we should mention this is the final season because um, the light now will finish a while ago. So this is um, the final season. I'm going to cry. Um, I guess like, I guess we can, I'm, I, I'm assuming that like most people like know what this show is. So I guess we'll skip like the, the summary. We'll just like maybe, um, maybe a little summary of what happened last season. 
and then like just go off like what do you expect go from the season so um strange you remember like do you remember like where we like the ending um, um from, season, from season two i guess it uh it where the hell did it end um it was basically god what was it it was like after like uh they got in kind of like an argument because uh, basically it was a Hachiman was trying to do everything on his own without really telling anybody, without having like accepting help. From our, well, I from remember because um, because Yui she she confessed, right? In a sense, but she basically did it in a way that it, it wasn't Hachiman wasn't direct. Know. Yeah, okay. it was it was basically it wasn't okay. direct. I, I thought she, I thought she like directly confessed to Hachiman. I don't I didn't remember. And then, but but I'm assuming because I think Yukino she like. Because she knows she about everything, so I think that's like where the, the, I think the last episode was like was was those three were just meeting up or something, and then that that's, they just ended it like that. Yep, yeah, it was basically like Yui like uh, like recognizes that that Yukino likes Hachiman, and Yukino is trying to get help from Yui, but basically Yui's just like, "What do you want from me? Like, how could I like because because Yui likes Hachiman as well, and they're basically stuck in that situation right now. The you know the love triangle. But I would say though, if uh, plus, you know, people who, plus Iroha, who are, I assume, but. Yeah, I would say that people who are watching Snafu, though, if you haven't watched like the the OVA from the second season, watch it. It is actually canon, and uh, it gives a little bit more on uh, on Iroha. Iroha. Was, yep. was there an OVA with the teacher? Um, there was two OVAs. There was there was one from the first season, but it was it was based, it was just comedy. It was just really funny. I don't. I'm pretty sure it was not canon because it was just like a kind of like a joke episode. But this last one was uh, was canon, and it, it it's like one of my favorite OVA episodes. Okay, because um, it's really good. I know, I know that um, if it wasn't OVA, then like, because Hachiman like went on a date with the teacher, but that was cut out from the anime. Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, just because it's not my parent, I still want to see it. I want to know everything, every moment of Hachiman's life. Wait, what? <laughs> dude, I love He's that just, man. Hachiman is his idol, man. He, he yeah, Hachiman is the best. He, he looks up to him. Dude, I do. I understand. Like, I basically, I, it's like same thing. Like his trying, thoughts is that in high this, school, it's antisocial. <laughs> dude, hell, dude, but his exact same kind of thoughts, like in high school and everything else. Like I didn't know, I knew nothing about this man until like I was actually watching uh, YouTube clips of like uh, comedy compilations and anime. And then this guy, then I, there was like a, like a clip of him talking about like how his spirit animal is a bear. And then I had to stop and listen to this guy. And I was like, damn, I gotta watch the show and binged it immediately. Which is weird because like. Stuff like Snafu isn't really Shredden's type of show because like it leans so much on, on more of the drama and like and yeah. relationships well, in like high school. First season was like really no drama at all, but then I was already hooked and I had to watch the well, second it was, season. It was more like commentary about like high school relationships and yeah, and how yeah. Like, like second and just like Hachiman and Yukiko, Yukiko like being antisocial and just like them trying to like trying to solve people's problems even though they have the problems themselves. Yep. Um, oh God. Uh, That's kind of what yeah, I didn't so, like about second season is that like it focused. I feel like it focused too much on the romance where I wanted more on just like Hachiman and Yukino actually be like making friends. Well, I, I thought like um, I thought second season had a lot more character development than the first season. First season, I thought they were they were, yeah. it was like all on comedy. Second season, though, there was really not much comedy at all. It was it was it was a lot of drama. You know, uh, people people have to grow up, and it is high school, so it, it I love the second. Like, I actually like the second season more than the first. And I, then I just didn't know, like I've that. Been a... I just didn't like like just I didn't just like the, the romance with the the group. I wanted more about like yeah, you like yeah, Hachiman, Yukio, and friends in general. I didn't mind the drama; I mean, it just it was just the romance. I mean, overall, I thought the romance between them was pretty low. I didn't think it was that much. It was like they would mention it here and there, but they didn't like go on and go full into it um, until like the end. Like, the, but that's just because setting up the last season. It's I think this is considered the it's all twelve episodes or this last season. Is it just a full arc, or is it still, still like kind of multiple arcs? Do you guys know? I don't uh, know. I have no, I idea. Have no idea how. Okay. okay. I, I I don't know. I assume I'm gonna assume it's gonna be one full arc because it seems like a big deal that it's the final season. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll be explaining. I, I, I would to... hope so. It was like if if this is the final season and like they and they they don't finish it strong and just like they like split up into multiple multiple arcs, like that's just gonna be disappointing. Yeah. But I mean, it's like we're gonna be talking about this show probably too much <laughs> weekly. You I would assume you're gonna be talking about <laughs> yeah. this show. 
too much. Yeah, I know, right? like, yeah, I'm guessing we're gonna go pretty hard into it, so uh, we'll uh, we'll kind of keep everything posted and updated. Yeah. But Brian, you haven't said anything. I just your mic muted. There's nothing room to say, dude. What do you <laughs> want me to say? <laughs> this fucking show left me on a fucking ball buster, dude. What do you expect? <laughs> Fuck this show. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it, okay. yeah, he's seen a coat. <laughs> Why do you sound so angry? Uh, because I am, man. They like, <laughs> left it off in the worst spot and didn't say a word because afterwards. Because Brian, like, he marathoned, like, the second season. Uh, he marathoned the show, whatever, and then, like, he was... And then, like, the cliffhanger ended. I got too invested too fast, fast, bro. And then, like, yeah. And then that was, like... I mean, you know, that like, when the last season... destroyed my soul. Was, uh, was got air. Uh, the, the the side effects of binge watching because it's mm. been like what four years? Sword, yeah, like four or five, five years. Five years five, since five years, yeah. season yeah. two. Yeah, and back then David estimated what like fucking <laughs> two, two two years. Yeah, <laughs> two. I thought it would be two. Yeah. Good times. Uh, uh, I can't wait, but now we get to talk rough. about it in a podcast. Even if we have no viewers, I'll still remember this this conversation. <laughs> All right. Well, does anyone? I don't know. Does anyone want to make any predictions about what's gonna happen, or I guess what what do you want to see from this final season? I just like I just want a, a satisfying conclusion. I really hope it's not multiple arcs like they usually do. I, I hope it's like one dies. one single arc the whole season. Hachiman dies. Just kidding. I have no <laughs> idea. I, I'm I'm gonna assume like to see it's, that it's... just to see Stren's reaction. I mean, for me, it's like after watching the OVA. I mean, I really like Iroha. Um, like you, you know, and Iroha are my two favorites. I really don't care about Yui. I've never met um, Yui, so yeah. Oh wow. But, okay. So well, I'd be because, like because I'd be okay she's, with that, but I also I'm sorry, but I but I'd also be okay with like if just nothing, like if they don't end up actually getting together and it's basically just like them being best of friends. I'm okay with that too. I mean, yeah. Because because whatever happens, I'm gonna feel bad for the other two. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I mean, or it could be like the stupid open ended where they don't officially say, but they imply he's with someone. Honestly, if they don't, I, if they don't make it open ended, I would be really surprised. God, I don't even. I don't even know. It's just because I mean, most other like uh, like love trial, love triangle, anime. Um, it's just like there's always like one person you like, and they. I swear that like, they just try to make you hate the other ones. So it's just like yeah. they're trying to pair you into like with just those two. This one is just like, I mean, even though like I don't like Yui that much, like I still like don't hate her. I would still feel bad, you know, if she ends up getting rejected or if you know Hachiman ends up with somebody else. It's it's basically whatever's gonna happen. I'm going to cry. I'm gonna cry at Jeez. this show. Yep. Even if it's just even if like not is, and is it's just ha- the end is, and just knowing it's over. Oh my god. Is Hachiman <laughs> gonna cry when he confess, or is he gonna, is he gonna cry at the last episode? He already did that though. That, like already like when that happened, that was an absolute shock. Like, I, I just remember I was just I was just crying along just with them too. I was like, yeah, dude, I feel like... <laughs> doesn't mean doesn't mean it's okay, buddy. Doesn't mean it's not okay. for any more tears. Yeah, I know, but it's just not, I don't think it's going to have as much of an impact. Because it, it's like you, especially with Hachiman. It's been five years, what? so you never know. Yeah, no, no. It's, <laughs> All right. The impact, the impact is basically gone. Unless somebody dies, then it's... No one's <laughs> going to die in the show. Gone. Like, this is not no, a show but then, where people die. Yeah, I mean, basically, it could get very emotional because I'd assume they graduate from high school this uh, season, right? I'm assuming. Hey, I thought and they then were... they grow up and... I thought they are freshmen. No, I, I thought they were second year. Uh, yeah, I thought they were second oh, years or whatever. Okay, Irha is a freshman, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. But So they're not... Are they third years? I think they're second years. Fuck. I no, but, uh, but I would imagine that since this is the last season, uh, they would end it with him, like, say, like, fast forward maybe, I guess, but growing up, choosing one or the other, and then, you know, like, growing up with a more mature mindset about how the world really works. And how it's not all just darkness and you know about isolation. And Sometimes whatnot. they don't do that. Though. I mean, I, I don't know. Sometimes they just it's just like ends. It's just like that. Just just them in that age, not even just growing up or anything. So, David, this isn't a normal show. Okay, this is the snafu. Oh, okay, this is I don't know the guy's name who ever made this show or uh, the the he light has, novel. He has a weird name because like because it, it's it's like his characters like the characters have like like they they have. Um, they, they have the same names in like the first and last name. The guy's like either his author is his pen name or his real name is the same way. So, yeah, it's his real name. But like I don't I don't focus on like author names anyways. So mm, fair. But I mean that's it. I'm hyped. We're like we're already like I mean this is just a preview and I feel like we talked about it forever. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be for um, Snafu. 
Um, we're gonna move on next to Shokugeki no Soma. This is this is another show that's gonna be ha- having its final season. This see, this um, yes. spring, but like honestly, I'm not really excited about it. I I'm just I, I, have I low, don't know what to expect. I have low expectations. Yeah, I thought it ended just fine the last season. Well, that's not, how... so I that's why I have low expectations because like anything you start now, like it's just gonna fin- you're not gonna get anything good in one season. It's gonna feel like yeah, so rushed. It's gonna feel weird. And then this is only going to be 12 episodes, or is it going to be like a 24, 26 one? No, Do we I think know? it's only 12 or 13. I think it's only one season. I gotcha. Because I'm pretty sure like, the announcements kept saying this is the last, the final, this is the final plate or whatever, or, the, or something. I, I, I mean, I really can't talk about much more. I mean, because I don't know what's going to happen this next season. Because like, before, we could actually talk about it because of where it left off this it left it left off like where it should be like the end of an anime so i have no well, clue I mean, that one guy showed up at the end of the final yeah episode. but it's so we, we got nothing him, on him. But yeah something something it's stupid just, he's gonna be something stupid like he's from another yeah. school or something and he challenges shogeki, soma to like a shogeki <laughs> or something i mean I forgot. it's the only thing that makes sense right if you already conquered one school there's obviously more schools out there in the world maybe he's from america or something and he wants to challenge japan japan or maybe uh france or because they're yeah. like the number one cuisine yeah culture so that would make sense yeah it's basically gonna be some some douche showing up for a dumb reason and then we're just gonna oh, watch whoa. it and it's gonna end why he gotta be a douche bro maybe he just it, wants to broaden his horizons man Okay, Th- that's never happened, Shogakuki. Everybody that shows up has been a douche. So, like, the only thing I can hope for, like, is me- hopefully maybe the cooking will be satis- satisfactory. But like, I don't know. I feel like not even, even last season it wasn't really the cooking didn't really inspire me as much. Well, because we we ended up having well, one like I just remember like the whole thing was rigged at the end of it. <laughs> then it, it just yeah. kind of just lost an impact with the food, and then they just then they just like uh they just added dumb abilities or like. Uh, whatever the hell, it was, basically things that were somehow passed on, even though they're not blood related, just by like the oh, name. The, they dad, got the dad had like the something, yeah, yeah powers, bro. Yeah, it was just <laughs> fucking stupid powers, and and then it was just I don't know. God, it was it was just it was disappointing. Man, this is basically just gonna be a re- uh uh was it a repeat of our fall season? It's like this and sort of it's just gonna repeating our disappointments and shit talking. Yeah. So honestly, <laughs> if it wasn't for Sword Art, <laughs> I mean, Sword Art might be the number this, one. This yeah, it, but yeah. It's just... but, but it's like, but I'm gonna still go into it hoping that they, you know, it's good somehow. I'm not, but I, I just don't know. Still... Um, but I know going into Sword Art, it's very low expectations. <laughs> uh, so uh, got, so we'll, we'll see how it's that got, how it's, balances hey, out. It's gonna bring like, good memories of when we first started in the fall <laughs> and it, getting into just... getting into podcasting, and then just. Get our hopes up for these shows and just shit talking them because <laughs> because do we know what do we know what day the anime airs? Does it air on a Friday, Saturday, or I'm pretty sure it's a Friday? No, no idea. Oh god, if it's Friday, I'm gonna be watching it first before Snafu because it's gonna make Snafu seem even better. Oh, I didn't god, know, yeah, gonna be so I don't good. Know Snafu. I know Snafu airs Friday, but I I'm pretty sure it's Friday. I think it's Friday. Friday, I don't Friday know. or Saturday? Yeah. One of the two. It's Friday or yeah. Saturday. Yeah, Snafu comes out on the, on the tenth. For that, for us, I would sure, assume it's Thursday, Friday. Sure it's then. The same day for Chokugeki. I think it's the tenth. Okay, but I mean so. Chokugeki. It's, I, I'm not gonna hate it as much as Sword Art. I'm just watching for the food and hopefully just like, like right. I, don't, I don't even know the if, food. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm watching for the food. You degenerates are watching for yeah. the plot. Hey, I'm also watching it for the food. Yeah, right? He's watching for yeah. the plot. Let's get that, let's get that straight. The food food plot. <laughs> no, I, I, um. I don't know, but with Sword Art, at least like this season, it's just like most of the talking and like character building should be done. It should be just nothing but fights. I'm guessing. I don't know. And I would assume like some abilities, just like where the creator just pulls out of his ass. And like how the PV go. Well, actually, I won't say, it. I won't talk about how the PV went, but just in case if it's spoilers. Yeah, just, just stop ruining things, Ren. It's just yeah, a ruiner. Be I, will, <laughs> I will try to be more positive this season, guys. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping after. We got this. I'm hoping after Shogeki, there's like more food, I don't know, food, manga, or anime I can look forward to. It was like the only not one, watching. really. No, not much. Not enough plot. <laughs> no, I said it once and I'll say that again. They need to bring back Fighting Foodons. It's it's <laughs> something more of a, a it's boomer just, thing, but if you remember show. what Fighting Foodon is, dude, you got to bring that back. I don't, it was I, so I, good. The premise was so good. I only know like the, the theme song because they play it in commercial on like Saturday morning so much. <laughs> mm-hmm. I never watched the actual show. 
I, I think the only other show that I watched that had anything to really do with food was that Bento Bento Wars or whatever it was. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, where uh, really, they, were, where they had like a yeah. fight for like half off bento boxes or yep. something. It's, that's it's, the only it's thing. It's another degenerate. It's another degenerate show. So that, that makes sense. No, it wasn't that? that I don't I think mean, it was that bad. Not that bad. It was more com. It was like I mean, it had some etchy, but it was more comedy. Oh, dude, ridiculous! It was, it was like the like the action was awesome, and it was just ridiculous too. It was it was really. I thought it was funny. And like that was like back back when like I had, I was watching any anime because I was getting back into it. So same. I think yeah, that was basically yeah, when I got had plot and content and quality yeah. structure and <laughs> back when shit was good, you yeah. know, back in my days. No, that was like yeah, mid two thousand. That was like the worst like anime era. I actually, what? I you actually take that watched, back. I watched it in twenty fourteen or twenty fifteen when I was really watching was like, shows and catching up to everything. It was like late two thousand or something, but like yeah. I don't remember. I can't create my anime list because it's down. <laughs> God, All what right. a time to be down. Right, does anyone have anything else for Shogeki? Friend. Uh, nope. Uh, not really. All right, that's gonna be it for just a preview of our disappointment for Shogugeki of the shit to come. Yes. <laughs> oh no, that's next. I can't wait. That's I'm next. I'm excited because the next show we're talking about is Sword Art Online Alization Part Two. Dude, two. Believe uh, the comeback. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, All right. Fucking <laughs> comeback, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Brian, like, Brian's just, <laughs> Brian's just—he's just the. I'm just waiting for Long Horizon, bro. <laughs> dude, oh, oh, that's man. right. Yeah, I'll just say Brian's just—he's hmm. just the guy at the Super Bowl. <laughs> he's just when the other team is losing. He says, "Waiting for the comeback." <laughs> yeah, dude. Always. For <laughs> that, the that's comeback, his feelings man. about Sword Art. Like he's always waiting. He's always, al- waiting, he's, he's always waiting. I don't know. Like, like normally, I think I'd be like, "Oh my god, sorry out again, blah blah blah." But I'm like, I'm so excited for this season to finally fucking happen from last season, and how just how, this how disappointing last season was. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm talking about winter season. I should just say winter season, not not the previous season of Sword Art. I don't care about that one. Oh, talking uh, about spring season in general. Yeah, just spring season okay. in general. Am I actually finally excited? Like that the, the season is here and we're done with winter and that disappointing season. <laughs> Dude, winter is always disappointing. You should. Oh God! But this had hero and high Q, and that, both... that was that was unexpected. Oh. So that was more disappointing because it shouldn't have been that they they should have been anchor. But yeah, winter is usually a slow season every year. So keep that keep that in mind. But um, yeah. dude, like I just want story just to finally be done so we can stop talking about it. The only reason why the only reason why we're talking about it is because like we we've, we've all like like just we're watched we've watched so much of it. It's like now. <laughs> This stupid feeling that we can't like, we might as well finish it. In it's, honesty, it's kind of like Shokugeki for me. We're in too deep. Yeah. You just you, <laughs> yeah. Dude, if we were like, smart, we would have, like just drop it while we were just drop it now and just avoid but all thing, future. You know, it's, you know, show is bad when like the games that they've made. I swear, like they're better than the show, and the characters <laughs> that are only in the games are better than the majority of the characters in the show. Strand needs his God. Astria back. <laughs> Straya. Straya. I can't remember Straya. names. Yeah. Straya was Straya was the best, of my, like my favorite. Even like the, there was a character that uh, they introduced in the first game that was like from PSP, but they adapted it to I think PS4. I actually played the shit out of that game. I played the whole thing, and that, that game was long ever, because it's, just, like, I mean, the it's, visual, it's, it's like a visual novel. It was like five dollars. So, like so many anime fans played that game. Dude, it was so much talking in that game, but I but I finished it, and then the, yeah, the, the character in that was better than the characters in the show. And yeah, and then then they introduced Straya. I would I think she came in the second game. Uh, I can't remember if she was she in the first game. Maybe, maybe she was in the first game too. I can't remember. But uh, anyway, game characters are better than the know. game. I don't know. Are. But um, I guess um, does anyone want to make a guess? Like, when will Kirito wake up? Is he gonna is it gonna be the end of the season? Is he gonna? It's end of the season. Halfway through. It's halfway no. through. He's just gonna episode OP three. His way. Yeah, I'm no, saying episode like episode three, three to four, dude. Three to four. He's just gonna yeah. wake up and then like everyone's just useless automatically. He's literally the then... only savior to the show, dude. <laughs> but actually, it doesn't matter because the fucking majority of the fan base for this goddamn show is fucking cancer. <laughs> yeah, but, damn. But, Tell but, us how you really feel, Brian. <laughs> but dude, the, all the characters in the game—I mean, in the game—they're all over. No one cares about the they, game. They <laughs> somehow, no, sorry, no, 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 no. I, I'm talking about the show, like the show now. But the care, you know, how they, they have the characters. That that are in a different game, and they basically they're just going to transfer the data into another game. Yeah, that's <laughs> literally the route that they're oh my going God, right dude, now. Yeah. Us, I just remember that from last season where yeah. they kept saying how oh like was it we can't like was it 
uh, you might be stuck there, and also your pain receptors might also be disabled. But oh, was it like? But like, but also, and your character they might be deleted. And that was like the one thing they were worried about, like not like not being trapped in an animal again, or not like feeling pain. It was their fucking character data being deleted. God. Hey man, sometimes Priorities. the data for characters resonates really well. That's trend. Like that, that is life. Strength. That could be somebody's life. Like imagine, David, you let's say hypothetically, right? <laughs> I'm you not, put in thousands wait. and thousands of hours into Final Fantasy, right? I'm and not then out of risking nowhere, my you life for that. All your characters are deleted. Fucking everything's wiped to start from scratch. You don't even want to play the game anymore. You just want yeah, to die. Exactly. I'll, I'll uninstall and I not die. Exactly. You'll die. Hey, I'll, I'll you already, you already risked your die. life putting thousands all right, of miles into it. So. If you're, it resonates with people. <laughs> if you're aware that you have a game addiction, this is a chance to break out of it. If you need a reason to get out of an addiction, it's not an addiction. Uh, no, that's, Trend, that's, that's my more, life. All right. That's, that's like that's like. I don't know. That's it's like me more with dangerous because you know they got to do it. To get rid of it. Yeah, it's like a perfect opportunity to Listen, possibly lose your, your account. Data for league never. It doesn't. You can always get a rank back. But what about my skins that I that oh I bought? No God. one gives a fuck about your skins, bro. <laughs> it's different for an MMO. Because an MMO, you might have titles, mounts, fucking weapons, fucking nostalgia of the asshole, right? Yeah, that's Man. true. Yeah, if okay, that, okay. If that's your reasoning, Strand, I hope you, like, die the most horrible pain, painful death while you're in there. Why Why would you assume that? Why, why if could you, I, why if you think I... it's that fine to, like, risk your life for... Okay, why could I not just be summoned to this world and just basically just bail and go to town and just become a chef? Uh... <laughs> oh, you want to be NPC? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. That's what you want to risk your life for, sure. Just because I'm going into this game doesn't mean I'm going to the battle. I can just basically wait, wait, the wait, other wait. way and just you know become like a blacksmith. You'd still or be trapped in there then. Or... That's fine. Uh, I mean, I'll take it. That's oh my god. Imagine, well, I mean, how... imagine wait. being the one in a billion, being able to make it into another world like this, and you just end up being an NPC. That's yeah. gotta be like the most. <laughs> Yeah, respectful way to like use that gift you've been you've been blessed but, with. But that, remember though, all these all a, these people's accounts are like good accounts. That, that's an isekai title waiting to happen. It's probably already there. We just gotta find it. Basically, no, because no one will waste the opportunity, Sren. Uh, no you, one. You no one in their right mind. You, you, no un- one in their right mind. You would go to another world. No, you <laughs> just, you just, underestimate no. isekais and the oh. dumb main characters they have. And the the bad writing, yeah. Just look how dull Kirito no. is. I mean, he's in a coma. <laughs> he's still OP. All right, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, I know. He basically just... deflects bullets with in a in a vegetation yeah. in a vegetable state with, with with his pure will. Okay. Oh God. So I will say it. Um, I remember from I the OP, <laughs> the OP from last season. It had um, it had was it, uh, Alice and Asuna fighting against the Emperor. So I assume. That's gonna be in. That's gonna season. happen. But Alice Somewhere. is caught though, right? Oh, she's caught. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. she's caught. I assume Austin's gonna catch up with her, and then I guess the fight will happen. Unless like yeah, so... unless, unless unless the OP lied, and then like you just have to wait for Kirito to wake up. Uh, well, maybe I wouldn't go off the OP as 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 much. Yeah. And we'll have to see all the care. I mean, so far she well, successfully. Uh, yeah. I only mentioned. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I I only mentioned just because like. Because before in the OP it was only Alice fighting, and then like once Asuna joined in, like halfway, like they changed the OP to include Asuna. But it's just an OP, so you can't always go off that either. I like how yeah. I like how they kept her out of like the OP for like you know first like spoilers, but yet they basically there was, like leading up to it, there's so much shit on it that basically she was coming in. It's <laughs> yeah. like what was the point of just removing her from the opening? It's just unless um, like you know, just avoid the news, that could be it too. I don't know, maybe just throw it in for a loop, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I have I'm no just, idea. That, I mean, I, that could work. Uh, I don't know. No. I think that's that's all I really want to uh, talk about. Yeah, and also <laughs> the, the, the Emperor guy just being creepy, like when he's trying to like suck out the soul from Alice. Like, he's gonna get hard on for that. Hey, he he's very unique. At least, well, I'll give him that. Okay, he's very unique. He's bad to be bad, man. That's that's like all sort of sort of villains. No, this guy is totally fucked up. He's like on a whole nother level. Of Strand, hey, up. no, Strand just wants to get his ear stabbed by Wait, a screwdriver. Are you guys talking about the, the blonde headed antagonist? Yeah, Gabriel. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you know he's fucked up when he, like, what did he do? Just drill a nail into it? Screw, like, a screwdriver, screwdriver into screwdriver. Like, bro. Childhood like, bro. Childhood friend. Yeah. And, yeah. like, just, just blank faced the dude. I was like, all right, dude. Dude, yeah, no hesitation. Just got it done easy. 
I it, at that moment I actually didn't just I did not like the antagonist at all. It's like this is the most bland, basic bullshit antagonist I've yeah, ever that, come that's across. That's sort of feelings for you. That's no that's... motivation at all. Just wants fucking to find. Where's the soul? That's I'm gonna just kill everybody to find the fucking soul. That's Ooh. sword art writing right there. It's either a creep or a psychopath. Fucking stupid. Yep. Yeah, I got nothing else. That's why people shit on this series so much. Dude, most Do people, people don't people really, really shit on this series. I feel like it's just us. I've yet to run across. I'd write it. Not time. not like not like uh, in, not like in real life. Like if you talk about in real yeah. life, like at conventions or like group of friends, people don't shit on it. But like online and especially on Reddit and like YouTube. Like people shit on sword art so much. Do they? I need to find these people and become friends with them. Yeah, uh, they're all they're all missing. They're, they're all being drowned they're, out by the I mean, by the, the, the was it the? I mean, it's it's they're pretty pretentious. So I don't know if that's your crowd's friend. Of what the people that hate sword art? Yeah. I mean, uh, I would like to hear their I would like to hear their opinions. Okay. And then that's it. And then we can leave it at that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't want to be friends with them. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. You're so torn, Trent. I know. I'm basically <laughs> thinking like, I mean, they got it right that they, you know, that sort of it's not good. But I don't know. I'm done. All right. Does anyone have, any, have anything else for sword art? God no. Sao. We're uh, gonna be talking. It's gonna be a lot more of a uh, disappointing stuff well, this. We got three weeks till it actually airs, so I'm not gonna for a while, geez. which is so far really weird. All right, so that's going to be it for Sword Art Online then, second part of Allization. Um, we're just going to move on next to Klepner. Um, this is this was uh, uh, originally a manga. So I read a little bit of the manga, so I guess like, um, we didn't... Ruiner! I read it before it was announced as an anime, you fuck. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just kidding. We didn't watch Damn. it this this, up, this week, but I, I, I guess we're, gonna, we're planning to watch it um, going forward, and then like... I'll I'll definitely watch it and then it'll definitely it's gonna go past what I read in the manga. So I'll just like I'll try to give like a short um short preview of the show. Like basically um this kid he like he somehow he he gets this ability to turn into like this weird like suit this furry suit. I don't know what, what animal it is, it's like either like <laughs> It's like a, a dog or a wolf, or whatever. But it's like this. It's a bear, man. Is bear? it a bear? Is it a bear? I don't. I forgot what it was. It's, it was a creepy ass looking cat. Like a bear. It was, okay, it was a bear. Yeah. Like I, it was a while since a I read the cat. manga. That's how long ago I read this manga before it came to anime. I don't remember that much, but he comes a suit. Okay, so he gets his power to turn into this bear thing, and then um, he meets this chick that I think it's like his his classmate or like some some uh, some some other person. But like he meets this chick and. She knows he know she knows that he's the one in the suit, and they find out that there's a zipper on the back. But like when <gasps> but when they open it, like the guy's not he's not like inside. He's just, he's the suit. So the, the the chick she just basically like opens the zipper and goes like she opens the zippers and goes into him like a costume. She basically uses him as like his his costume as a, as a power to control him. And basically, um, uh, there's so apparently like some some aliens like landed on like earth and like I, I guess they were the ones that gave him the power and there's like they drop like these coins and so for some reason like like he was given this this quest to find a bunch of coins and um keep giving back to the alien and mario <laughs> no sure mario and like and then of course like it's not he's not the only one with powers there's other people with powers so like he's eventually meets up with them and just like tries to um well also like um the the, the chick she's trying to, she's trying to find her older sister who disappeared and she's pretty sure that the older sister has a connection with like the aliens and the powers and stuff so that's why she's like she's seeing it with like, the guy in the bear bear costume she's trying to find her older sister so basically like yeah it's just, just trying to get the coins and then meeting up with other people with powers and just figuring out the mystery and that's that's all that's I guess what I'll say for now, and that's basically the beginning part of the manga that I read. So, just so far, like um, what I read in the manga, there's not that much action. It's mainly just like trying to figure out what's going on. Later on, though, there is some fighting, cause um, cause the the guy with the bear costume, like he gets some powers, so there is fighting. But, like, but the chick's pretty useless, cause she has to like go inside the costume to use to like help, um, help like help the guy out like i guess he can he can 
use it by himself, but he's just he's a he's a wimp. So like she, that's why she just controls him. Just so, so he, how does she help? Like when she besides going in the costume, she basically like she can control like the the, the bear. Like she can, like when she's in the costume, she can move around. I guess like the guy lets her move around because he's scared to do anything by himself. So, so he doesn't do anything then. Not really. So it's he like doesn't. so it's like Power Rangers, but he's the suit he's, that she morphs into. Sort of, yeah. She, she goes. Or is into, it like a mech? Or is it like a mech thing? Well, she no, it's not. It's not. It's not a mech. It's like it's like those like those costumes at amusement parks, like mm-hmm. like the really like where it's like it's really hot inside. That's why she has to like undress because it's like really hot inside. So like Fumo Fu, yes. a full metal panic. Yeah. It's like that. Nice. <laughs> Before your uh, uh, was explanation, I had no clue what this shirt was about. Besides, some dude in a costume. That's all I knew. Yeah, that's yeah. That's so he basically turns in the costume. That's like that, that's his power. Yeah. And most likely, we'll be able to talk about the show. Like, or uh, we'll have like the, like the, like the day of because I think it, it comes out on Sunday. Sunday mornings. Yeah. So basically. Yeah. Like, I had um, no idea. I would have watched yeah, it today. So if you guys can just try to watch it before the podcast. Yeah. Uh, with Final Fantasy VII coming out this Friday, <laughs> um, hey, man, no guarantees. That's fine. I, I can I can put I can put or uh, put aside like you know twenty to forty minutes to catch all up right, to well, my shows. Fine. At least what? At least watch Tower Gotku. That's all I really want from you. Oh no no! I'll, I'll watch that because it's Wednesday. Oh, but uh, <laughs> not not on the weekend. But the weekend. All right. That's, uh, that's another thing. He just calling for me, baby. I got, I got to go. <laughs> I, got, I got to go to my baby. All right. <laughs> got to go to Seventh Heaven. Hell um, yeah. <laughs> which Dude, was my Animal Crossing Island? No, that's the name of our guild in 14. Dude, and my island in Animal Crossing. Your island name is Quarantine. You get the... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So but, that, uh, oh, yeah, so oh, hold that, on, hold on. Oh. All right, bro. Brian, are you planning and uh, are you planning on watching Gleipner or giving it a shot at all? Or uh, I'll not? wait a little bit and then I'll decide later on. Fair enough. Are you well? Okay, we'll we'll try to talk you into it. We'll let you know what's going on. But if we have the same tone as Sword Art, probably just avoid it. I don't, I don't <laughs> think it's gonna be as Sword Art. I don't think so either. It's not gonna be a top tier, but I think it'll be interesting. Like I think I think it like, sounds probably, probably like an H, way like seven point five. It's kind of like a seven point five eight show. So yeah. So that's how I I would predict yeah i'm excited so that's gonna be it for gutner um we're going next to kaguya sama um Ugh. i'm surprised dude this this show is pretty funny i'm surprised Stren didn't finish the season this is your chance now Stren. yeah let me get back to you <sighs> my god all right well me and cool then we'll, we'll carry on um i'm just i really enjoyed the first season so i'm excited for second season um, yeah, I just I just hope that they can keep up with the momentum they had from the first season. Because I mean, it's not really like much of a plot. It's just like it's just like the gags and like the comedy that's driving it forward. Because uh, yeah, but that's the thing though. Like usually with a continuation, uh, sometimes it gets stale. They don't come up with anything new or I didn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't, constantly yeah. use the same material. Yeah, but like this is the second season, and they haven't really done much that I would consider like stale. I I found the like, comedy consistent drop the whole season so right no like i said like season one was good but like i said with, with with a new season and like continuing on their work like maybe hopefully they didn't run out of ideas yeah. and they can i, I mean they, come out something. yeah like, like they can always like either introduce more characters or like focus more on um i think like was it the uh what's it, the, the maid like the maid for kaguya sama because she she gets mm-hmm. like there a little bit there here and there yeah. Otherwise, I think the characters are strong enough on their own that they can always just focus on the four of the suit council. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. But again, I would like at least one or two new characters. New characters? All right. Just because. Yeah. Kind of add more to it. Add more to the cast, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, that's just me. Maybe it's just because uh, I've watched so many that it's starting to kind of uh, all blend in one. See, so maybe maybe that's my take on it. See, this is why like I. This is why I space out. Yeah, like my, especially my, especially my rom-coms, so I appreciate them more. <laughs> yeah, so, I suppose. Yeah. But, yeah. And, like, and, um, yeah, and plus, I, I, it was so popular in Japan when the first season aired, so I was, I was pretty confident that this would get second season, so I'm, I'm just excited. 
Um, uh, yeah, that and um, I want to say that dance that she does at the end. Chica. Uh, that, yeah, it was very memeable, and it was memed quite a bit. So yeah. I'm kind of surprised it, it picked up pretty, uh, pretty fast with the the Western culture. I feel. Uh, I mean, because rom like if it's a good rom com, like it's always popular. So there's always that that portion of the anime community that you know that 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 picks up on like the the rom com or or even the comedy of the season. And I was like, and it was in winter too. So I think it was like the only like rom com. So I'm surprised. I'm not surprised that it was popular, but I th- so um, I, I think I think like the, the dance was. I think the dance was popular because the show itself was already popular. And then that it 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 came off from that the base popularity and then just made it more popular. No, because there are so many variations. Like I I can't remember the last time something it was was that popular and well, using such a variety well because like i mean the show was already popular but then it just came out of nowhere so that's that's why it became meme worthy mm, yeah, i suppose i don't know with, I mean, with the feed that i was getting on social media it was it was very different from what i was seeing from my group of friends because usually it's just me and a couple like few others that actually watch anime so to see like a good majority of my friend feed have so many different uh like mentions of this anime was really surprising to me. Oh, okay. Like when that happened, uh, I actually knew about it because I mean, this was after I dropped the show already. But uh, um, I don't know. But Wallpaper Engine, that shit was everywhere. And that's the only reason why I knew um, uh, what that was. I mean, yeah. So many. Yeah, so Chico's many... like, wasn't, wasn't Chico like the most popular character? From... Oh, yeah, for, for sure. She's, she's way better than the other two. Is she the pink hair Yeah, chick? for sure. No. <laughs> yeah, she's way better. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and like plus that plus like a lot of people cosplaying and doing like, the it, IRL dances. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, famous cosplayers was doing the dance too. Yeah. yeah, so it was it was uh, I mean, it was nice, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to my boy Ishigami. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Who's that? Yeah, uh, he's the the, the treasure. No, he's the the black haired with the headphones. Yeah, he he was introduced later like, on a series. Oh, okay. Sounds like a good guy. You, should, you would know if you watched it. I'm good. It's I tried. Fun. I'm good. It's, it's like two fun. people too like too stuck up to admit that they like each other. Get the fuck out of here. I've like, watched so many of those things. Dude, that's like the best. I mean, that's how it is sometimes. Yeah. Oh god. Plus like um yeah. But I mean I always like the comedy between like um the two main characters anyway, so I look forward to more of that. I got tired of it. <laughs> Which I wish I wouldn't <laughs> because I like rom coms, but I shouldn't be because I I like rom coms, but I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know. Well, at the time it was different. Everyone else was kind of just following some other trope. So I guess when this came out, it was kind of a nice change I of pace. Know, like, I guess. It was not. I mean, it was still following tropes. It was just like it was just really good comedy. I forgot what else was airing at the time. Maybe I was just watching too many shows. Promise Neverland and Mob Cycle. Um, yeah, yeah better. Oh, I think I think Shield Hill too <laughs> yeah, was on okay. its second season, so maybe. Yeah. yeah, I remember those lot of shows I was watching that that season. That season that that was like uh-huh. the actual like one the the exception where like it actually had a good winter season where we had a bunch of decent shows and good shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas like this last winter is like that's the that's the norm where it's just slow and depressing. Ah, uh, well, let's see how uh, the COVID-19 plays the next couple of seasons then, right? We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that, that's that's all I got for it. Yeah. So, so that's going to be it for Kage Asama. Um, and then we're going to move on next to our, our last section, My Hero Academia. Perfect timing. <laughs> I know, right? Sasha here had perfect timing. <laughs> it's like he knew all along. It's like that's he has a quirk. Roll, baby. <laughs> all right, yeah, so... I guess like we'll start with just this last episode, and then maybe do like a recap and like I guess yeah. So we'll just start with the last episode. I just want I yeah. just want to hear everyone's thoughts on that Endeavor fight. What were you... I thought it was awesome. I actually enjoyed it more than that. Phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, I legit thought he was gonna die. Like when he when they shared first shirt, like they that blast like through his uh through his eye. I thought yeah. like damn, are they really just gonna kill him off right I, here by a Nomu? I thought he was gonna die, but then like I just remember the movie, how like I'm assuming the the movie took place after this arc, and he was yeah, there, right. so like I assume he wasn't gonna die, but 
Yeah, if it wasn't for uh, that, I, I I would have thought he was gonna die too. I mean, he was just giving off a Vegeta vibe though the whole time for me, honestly. Right, because it was like a he had like a villainous attitude. He did things I was like un- he did his unforgettable final for his children, family. Yeah, yeah, he did his final flash. He sacrificed himself for his son or whatever, and then you know he's still alive. And it turns out like this whole time, like he was the only one that was trying to beat All Might, right? Like everyone else was like, oh, you know, like we got a number one here already. You know, we don't need to try as hard. You know, he's always going to be there for us. And it kind of made you respect like the effort that he put in and to try to be the the, the number one rather than just staying as number two. And then even uh, Hawks uh, realized that too. And Hawks was trying to. Uh, <laughs> Ox is trying to uh, like, like he gave him some respect for that as well. So um, yeah, no, I know. I kind of like the way that they pen, uh, played out his story. I mean, I just want to like say like I know they're trying so hard to like to redeem Endeavor, but like I don't know. Like I still think he's a douche to his family. Uh, I think he's a, I think, well, I mean, because yeah. like I mean, they they try to say too how like he tried to visit like the wife, but like but like uh-huh. she, she wasn't like in had the mental capacity to, to see him, and like doctors didn't let him, but. Still, just I don't know. He could treat his family better. Well, he's working to improve. I mean, he's basically well. At least he realizes he was a complete asshole, and he was ba- he was just just tra- uh, just a trash of a human being. <laughs> like he's actually like it's, it shows like he's actually progressing and caring, and he's act- where he actually cares about the number one spot, or like actually being seen as. Uh, this is why I compared to Vegeta last week. <laughs> right, right. Also, but, also, but even then, it wasn't he, just... he, always, he always felt number two. <laughs> Right, but it wasn't even just that, Not right? Anymore, like he wanted to make sure, he wanted to make sure that the the future was was stable. So he wanted to create someone that can like use all of his powers without like constantly being overheated. Because that's the reason why he could be number one. I think yeah. is because he would constantly overheat himself. So maybe that's why he was trying so hard to make the perfect uh, descendant in a sense. Yeah, he still caused a lot of issues for his family. He did, but for the greater good, in in a sense, uh, you know. To be determined, we'll see. I mean, if you didn't get that from this episode, I mean, I don't know how else. Yeah. Put it no, up. I actually, if like from this last episode, I I like I actually like Endeavor. When before, I'd never really cared about him too much, but like, uh, but these last few episodes, like, also, um, I can say, like, changing. I can say that I respect him, but I still think like he still <laughs> treated his family like, like shit, and so he did. I'm like, still denying it, but at least he's like actually why, trying that's to. That's why himself. I can't like fully like like him. So you never liked Vegeta either. Not, re- I mean, like, not re- I was never like a big fan of Vegeta. So, fuck you. Okay, wow. Can we all just agree like that, that he was that, a that makes bird's sense. out dad? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, here it comes. That's right. That's, you're, that's you're why you're father. here, Sasha. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, they, these last two episodes were definitely better than uh, this whole last arc, I would. Uh, I, yeah. I think. Hey, hey, uh, hey don't, don't downplay uh, Gentle Criminal. Right? No, oh, still, oh, we I, will. I we up, definitely I will. Still, I still ended up liking Dude. Gentle Criminal, Criminal after hating him for almost the entire show. Dude, this. <laughs> no, this, no, no. This, Sasha, this, your thoughts this on Black Gentle Nova Criminal? was better than Gentle Criminal. Get out he here. was he was Get not the Gentle out of here, bro. <laughs> you don't watch the show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I gently this dropped guy. it. Oh god! Wait, so did you did you watch all the episodes or no? No, I oh, okay. I think I literally stopped watching it after those kids came out of a stadium and started tackling the wind guy and Bakugo. I said, oh, man, yeah. this, this show's kind of hit the fan right here. Like this yeah. is you go from the peak of season three to then all of a sudden the setup to season four. And I think this is the worst part too, is I got caught up on Demon Slayer. Promise Neverland, Made in Abyss. So I'm watching all these well-written, fast-paced anime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I go back to my hero, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, man. this It just it pales in comparison. So for me, there, there wasn't enough interest. I'm like, okay, what what happened to Michigo, whatever his name is? Who? Uh, the guy who lost his powers. Did he get oh, his powers? Oh, yeah, but Lemuel, Muriel. thank you. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Or not. No. So, yeah, e- even the death of... Stapler, <laughs> I forgot the names. Night Eye, Night Eye. Thank you. No, he's stapler. He's stapler guy now. <laughs> I mean, he he was carrying those like staple things in his hand. Stamps, like, sir. Pieces. Stamps, all pieces. Right. St- stamps. All right. Stamps. Thank whatever. Thank you. Horrible. Forty kilograms. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just. I thought Chisaki was butchered. I, I thought the show was really like over the top cheesy when they played that really sad music, and then they ruined Lemillion's moment. With the slideshow, I it just was like, why, why am I watching this? So, 
I was gonna wait to see what you guys said, and hopefully the season picked up. But it sounds no. like it really did. Really, it was like the last two episodes. That's I think that's really the only ones you have to watch. The gentle criminal stuff. It's like it and like it definitely felt like uh, like filler characters or villains. Um, mm. But the twist is he might actually become a hero. So we'll see. Ooh. I mean, yeah. The only other is it his quirk? His quirk is actually pretty sick. Uh, yeah. But the other, the little girl, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. her, her, she's definitely like support. Like she has a oh, pretty. Oh, uh, um, La, La Brava. Yeah, yeah. La, like if La Brava felt the same way about Deku, <laughs> like Deku would be intense. Would be pretty intense. No, no, just, just no. Dude, but the, but the power up because her, her quirk was like she ends up having to, like love somebody, and right. like the more she loves them, like the, the, the more powered up they get. So don't, uh, ruin, don't ruin the ship, wow. sir, right? So, it's yeah, so, like Brava, gentle I mean, so don't ruin the ship, all right? <laughs> yeah, so, we're definitely well, ruining it well, I'm not, right now. I'm not saying that like it's a ship. I'm just saying like you know if if it were if it, it was a thing, I don't want it to happen. I don't care about the Brava at all. Um, but it's like uh, but no, his quirk was awesome, and then she then she basically she powers him up, um, and that's really kind of like all it was. But then they they were actually interviewing him. Like in a sense where it made it sound like he was actually going to become a hero, or like he could become a hero, because he actually like uh kind of like turned like at the end of it, and then mm-hmm. I think they looked into his like his uh, his past. I don't know, like the last few of that, like of his like little like fight and arc with uh with Deku was actually was not too bad, but these but the last two episodes, I'd I'd say probably watch those because it's definitely kind of setting up like the whole. I don't know, did you watch those, Sasha, or no? No, no, I literally, like I said, I stopped at episode, whatever that was, like 12, 13, gotcha. maybe. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Like, yeah. If you don't want to care at all about, like, the, like, the La Brava and um, Gentle Criminal, at least watch the two last two episodes because they, they kind of set up, like, the next, uh, like, the new top 10 heroes, like, okay. officially. And then, um, then the last episode is basically Endeavor kind of solidifying himself as a uh, number one. Uh, or just kind of like showing, just showing the people, like, not all hope is lost. But when mm. you see that top ten list of heroes, oh man, you might think they're fucked. <laughs> Fucking trash, bro. Oh, <laughs> wash <laughs> machine. That's a washing machine in the list, bro. <laughs> oh my god, Sasha, did you <laughs> fuck do you get on this, dude? Oh Sasha, my god. Sasha, did you see the top ten list or no? I did not. But oh my god. Oh, yeah. Let's just say <laughs> Endeavor's gonna fall a few degrees short of uh-huh. being the good number one. <laughs> <laughs> dude, but but, oh, you, God. but if you see a number seven, I forgot what number he was. Number was he seven, number seven? I think, yeah. Yeah, number seven? Like, legit? That would be, like, a design that I think, Sasha, we would come up with in some <laughs> random ass art class. Like, it, it's so like, what we saw, I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, I said, is I said that's Stren's quirk. No, I, like, I, I saw that. I was like, Stren, that's your quirk. Yeah. You get that power. <laughs> like, legit, this guy has to be pretty, uh, you would assume, kind of strong, right? I mean, if he's if he's number he seven, top eight, he's, or if he's top it's, ten or whatever. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's either that or like the top ten is just that weak, and then you're basically just thinking like the heroes are they're so screwed. Oh, but I, I have no idea. I have no idea what he does. No bueno. Besides possibly wash stuff. Yeah, guys, I have, I have a great concept for season five. This is the only thing I can say to the show. They get into a fight with the League of Shadows. It's brutal, right? Todoroki just gets massacred, right? While taking out a couple of them, he takes out the blood dra- draining girl. And then what happens is uh, Deku and Bakugo, both of them lose half their body. And the only way to save them is to combine them oh, to yeah. make Deku go. Yeah! I mean, that almost happened in the movie. Oh, uh... God, that, that looks so fucking weird. That's my pitch, and that's all I've got. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. Or, or hear me out, they can do what's called a fusion dance and just merge into one character for 30 minutes, and they just take <laughs> out the whole League of Villains. Ooh, only if they're wearing earrings, though. Uh, no, because they'll be there forever. I feel like they would get stuck forever if that was the case. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be I for know. like. God, I'm trying to think of like a reverse name because you said Bak. Was it Deku Go? Deku Go. <laughs> so it'd be <laughs> he'll deck you and go. Yeah, <laughs> the reverse for the re- for the earrings. <laughs> so. Yeah, you're not allowed to come up with names anymore. Um, <laughs> Dude, I'd be a perfect writer for these shows. <laughs> Deku Go, Deku Go is, actually sounds catchy. The other one, I'm going to get back to you. Wait, what was the other one? Oh, I thought you said that. Like, you only said wait, one. Your name? Oh, I thought you said that. Okay. Okay. For some reason, I thought you were trying to say something with Baku Deku. You would be the best backup writer. Just like the makeup writer things. <laughs> for, uh, I thought you wanted the deer in the scene, man. No, what are you doing? Oh. Oh. Yeah, just disappointed. Honestly, uh, I didn't want to drop it because, and I had no expectation to. And then, just so bad. 
sorry. It's, the character development didn't seem to really go anywhere. The emotional moments didn't hit. I don't know. We'll see. The two gray-haired kids or whatever, La Brava and Captain Doorknob. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> you, you, I mean, I don't think they're really I, I really don't think they're gonna show up again. I mean, if if they do, it's gonna be just like probably for like a brief like a brief moment, just showing like their heroes. Because like uh, other than that, though, they're not gonna be main parts. No, like cause again, the last episode's basically like we're going back to League of Shadows with the no moves again. League of Villains. Why League do we keep the, calling League of Shadows? League of Villains. <laughs> League of Shadows is something else. Wait, where's League of Shadows? I don't League know. Shadows Shadows Batman. Batman. Is that Batman? Okay. Yeah, I was say. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Someone. League like, of Shadows sounds more badass. It yeah. does. League of yeah. Shadows does. Like League of Villains just sounds like. <laughs> well, then again, like this is. Hero Academia is like influenced heavily by American comics anyway, so but whatever. Like we're going back to yeah. League of Villains with the Nomus and then probably yeah, I'm tired of Nomus. Oh yeah. I, um, so I, this is what I did in full transparency. I fast forwarded through the last episode because I had mistaken it and thought it was a recap episode. Not realizing that thread said we are going to recap the season. <laughs> oh. So I'm like, all right, let's see what happened this season. And then I just see <laughs> that what's what do they call Nemus? No Nomus. Nomus. No moves, thank you. And he just like, hey, dear. Ah, ah. And then Endeavor's powering up, and I'm like, all right, let's skip this. <laughs> so, like, ah, who cares about these guys? And then I just see two gray haired people in a helicopter, and I'm like, all right, this show's really good. just got down the hill. So, <laughs> no, yeah. I definitely think, like, at least the last two episodes you should, you should uh, try watching, at least for when the fifth season comes out. Yeah, you know what I might do? I might read the manga if, if it's any different. Um, if it's just like faster paced, so that way I'm not sitting there for like forty minutes of my life. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was only two episodes, like for the for like the top ten heroes. Um, yeah, you know. But no, season five sounds like it'll be it'll be <clears throat> back on pace to being really hype. Hopefully, because yeah. the, the the preview for the next season it's it's I thought it was pretty pretty dope. Yeah, they set it up. I think they they set it up so hopefully like it's like it, at least the beginning of the fifth season should be good. Who knows like how how it's gonna go throughout this? I mean, the, the sounds season, like but... sounds like Deku's gonna get another power up. So yeah, like he just awakened or something. Yeah. So mm-hmm. oh yeah, the, the the ending scene. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the yeah. ending scene of like the last episode he's, was actually he's pretty what hard. ninth generation is what they yeah. Remember. yeah. So yep. I, I mean, actually, I just want to see more of um All Might's like master because yeah. we really got to see any of her. So I want to see more of her, and also yeah, definitely. Like, and also because she she's also like Tom Tomara's like grandma, so. We gotta figure out what happened in between. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yes, yeah. A few, yeah, like the last few, like uh, last few scenes of the last episode was actually, I mean, pretty. It was pretty hype because I actually want to know what happened in the past with like the previous generations. But it seems like you're gonna get to know them more. Mm-hmm. Um, but so it's it's. I do. You, anybody know who was the guy that uh that all for one was grabbing? I think I was his younger brother. The guy that had one for all. The one, okay, so it was, yeah. it was kind of showing how it all started. Yep. Oh, wait, so like, hey, they, you're the. Oh, did they reveal that they're they're, they're brothers? I didn't catch. I, I mean, didn't they're know. both. They both have the same hair. I didn't know. Even no, no, no. It, uh, <laughs> no, no. I, I think they did when when uh, All Might was telling Deku the backstory of how he got it from his mentor or whatever. Yeah. Like way back. Yeah. Yeah. He was telling the story of uh, who All for One was, and then that his brother, even though he was weak, it was because he had the ability to give out his powers. Um, okay, I don't. Was, I don't remember this at all. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I don't remember what season it was. Maybe season two. Probably yeah, season, season two. two. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. But no worries. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. We got you. I just, Guys. yeah. I just want to say, like, cause um, cause it's just disappointing that well, well one of the disappointing things is that um, because they had to work on the movie, so that's why we saw like the the Lemillion versus Jisaki fight suffer, just cause like. He, he, oh, he, he, terrible timing! It took all of the, the, the you know the best animators. I mean, to make the movie, it's like I enjoyed the movie, but like I don't think it was worth like tanking like the main series for, especially since the movie wasn't yeah. canon. I definitely felt like uh, the millions fight would have been like the strongest of the se- like the the season, and I, and I think it would have. I don't think we would have hated it as much because yeah. uh, I think it would would have definitely made the millions whole thing more epic. And also, I remember like this the sappy like cheesy song that Sasha was talking about before. It was placed terribly. I really do think that song should have been played during a Lemillion. I think it would have made way more sense. Right. Um, so well, yeah, because it just seemed so... I don't know. It just seemed like a weird place to put it. So how do you feel about this episode when they had the music playing with Endeavor? Um, I like that song. It wasn't too bad. I was, no. I was trying to give Shred shit because he always, he's always oh. complaining about songs. They oh, play in battle no, in I, Academia. See, I like music. I, I like. I love music, but it has to be just like put in like the right like right places. So I was just gonna like, mention just because like this episode had it. So yeah, 
No, I, I like I thought like I honestly thought this episode was fine. I mean, it basically was intense because uh, I mean, I legit. Like, I mean, at first, like I, I remember, me and Ku talked about it last week, where uh, we were, you know, we were asking each other, or we were talking if uh, we thought he was gonna die. And I'm like, nah, there's no way. Then all of a sudden, he gets to basically like the whole thing blast. I'm yeah. thinking, I'm thinking, oh my god, he's actually gonna die, or maybe he might just die right here. Mm-hmm. And then, it, it, like when he went shot up in the sky too, and he was just like going, you know, his plus ultra. I thought like. Dude, this is this is a going, like holy shit! This is actually Vegeta going Dark Knight. This is, <laughs> this is a this is a God. What what was his uh, his a uh, his a uh, uh, suicidal Me- move? No, oh, Vegeta's suicide move. move. Yeah, what, what was his what was uh, final clash? No, it wasn't final no. clash. Uh, uh, I, I forgot what it was, but it's just like some kind of an explosion. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But basically, so I, I legit thought like that that was gonna happen to him right here. I was like, damn. I was like, we're, it was like they're gonna lose their number one hero. I have like from a fucking no move, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I thought like, oh my, like I, I legitimately because I was actually like uh, pretty intense like the whole episode. Yeah, I really thought that he was gonna like you know right die right or pass away, and then like Deku and his group they were gonna have to step up, like or at least the top ten, like right, they like they always do. They have to, yeah, right, because but, yeah, like, without without All Might and without the the symbol of peace, like the the villains are just overrunning the uh, the world, so it kind of love people at a dark place and what what best way to shine is to show up in the time of darkness so yeah basically like all the villain stuff is like it's picking up because you know like they're like slowly starting to feel the the lapse of uh like you know without all might yep i mean Brian, were, we, were you trying to say something like a little bit ago no sash got it it was called the final explosion that's the name of it huh, yeah. that's kind of hmm. right. but um no because um i think even after this too it, yeah they think it's I feel like the villains um probably feel even more confident about about coming out just because like because because saw the number one hero had this much trouble against a nomu so yeah uh, that's again like setting up for league of villains i or... mean that was a pretty that was a pretty epic nomu though i mean it was definitely but uh... you, you, you're gonna expect like to have more of them later on so right yeah there's gonna be a lot more dude hawks is badass too yeah hawks he's pretty, is pretty sick he's pretty dope dude like, yeah. honestly <laughs> like yeah uh, I completely forgot. Like we haven't like, even talked about Hawks, but uh, yeah, Chris first I was like when he came, he came up as a uh, as number two. I'm thinking like, what, what can this guy really do? And then you find out that he's basically like, the best support there is. <laughs> Dude, I was like, if all he can do is fucking fly, this guy does not deserve yeah. to be number two. Yeah. In all honesty, but yeah, with, with his ability, uh, yeah, this guy's extremely versatile. One of the best supports out there, probably. I, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, he was like, like, like throughout the episode, I was like, Dude, this is this guy's awesome." Yeah. Like in a way, I'm kind of shocked. Like he, well, no, he doesn't really have the like. He even mentions it. Like he doesn't really have the power. Um, mm-hmm. but he's. I mean, he basically, he's he has like everything else. So, right. He's pretty sick. I'm, I'm excited to see more of him too. I got that, but I don't know if anybody else has any kind of um, closing okay. statements on this season. We can find. We can put this to rest. <laughs> Disappointment. Same. Oh. Yeah, yeah overall, I also like I I read too much I or I like I took too much of people's expectations like mainly manga readers about the overhaul arc. So mm-hmm. going forward now, I mean that I guess I'm more excited for League of Villains. I I just hope like they do more because it always seems like it doesn't seem like epic enough. Like I just I want like finally a fight with Tomura this time, but. I mean, I legit think though, like the, the way, like where the League of Villains are right now, they they just seem so much weaker than the heroes. Yeah. So I, I don't even and know also, why they would be. And also, they still they still have the bullets, so I guess I expect maybe someone to lose a port maybe, yes. next season. We'll see if they'll go that far. But I have no idea. But yeah, so I'm gonna <clears throat> keep my expectations in check. I'm not gonna listen to manga readers, but I do, I do think, um, the next arc that just. Usually, when League of Villains are involved, it's usually a stronger arc, anyway. So there's hopefully is that. Yeah, I think I'm going to read the manga where the season where I drop the season, and then if it's entertaining enough, I will definitely stick around for season five. But if I see the show's headed nowhere, I'll just keep my mouth shut and just be like, "Oh yeah, guys, <laughs> seems like it's going to be a really good season." And then just what's that German term where you enjoy someone Schoen else's? Fruit. Yeah, short and fruity, ah. So just uh, enjoy your displeasure. But if that happens, if it doesn't, then uh, I'll, I'll definitely grow. 
Oh, it's like, I mean, I would say like, it's the same thing with David where it's like, well, for me though, I, I heard kind of like from both parts, like I heard like the overhaul arc was the weakest arc, but then there was this shit that happened. So I, I don't, I mean, uh, I, 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 heard, like, I kept hearing from people that overhaul was going to be the best. So yeah, I, I heard like the kind of like, or, or for me, it was like different where I heard the overhaul arc was the weakest. I would assume people wouldn't really count this legitimate arc that just happened, like the school arc. No, um, that's filler. Okay. Not, not, okay. not, not, yeah. not like filler as an anime, but let's just like, just gotcha. not interesting. Yeah. But if you look at it like this, Sasha, you could see, you could think like, you know, the fifth season can't be as bad as the fourth season. The fourth season's already very low down there. That is a very good point. But there's just now I'm overwhelmed with the amount of good stuff there is out there. Yeah, that's fair. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, it's just my hero has become mediocre when everything else is getting better and better. So it's just one of those cases where the competition, I, I wasn't aware to it. Now I <laughs> he's, he's opened <laughs> his fair. eyes to the world. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I, I became a real. Uh, what's the term? Weep. Yes. 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 I actually grew tentacles. Ah. Uh, uh, that's a different turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like where you're going, though. So. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, how about Brian? Any uh, kind of closing thoughts or statements or anything on this season? I'm uh, just waiting for the next season. Probably be better than this shit. So, but would you say like the last two episodes were definitely the strongest? Oh yeah. I, okay. I don't even Go count far. like the last two episodes as this season. It's, it's basically a prologue to season five. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's true. It's basically kind of like a longer setup for next season. But I mean, I'll mm. still count it because this season was no. so piss poor. No, I, I count it as a prologue. So, yeah. Last thing More I gotta say. Bit, oh, go ahead. Kirishima, Wait. whatever happened to him? He's just in the hospital for the rest of the season. No, he's. I don't know. He's, he's back in the dorms. He's just. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. He's alive and well. <laughs> nice. Okay. Just checking in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. this season though they did a million wrong. <laughs> damn you, damn you, bones. Hope hope that movie was worth it. No, it was dog shit. <laughs> Jesus, okay, it wasn't wow, that bad. Right, bad. right, you I mean, were like the most hyped. It wasn't for that bad. I thought the movie was good. I mean, wow. it was no so like that. Was it good when we saw that shit and fucking dub? Dude, that English. Wasn't that, I, wasn't English I mean, that was bad, bro. That's my future yeah. you're talking about, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dude, the, the dub was actually pretty pretty good. Yeah, it was good. Like, no, I hate it because Sasha wasn't in it. You know, that's, that's how bad <laughs> yeah. it was. Yeah. I don't know. It was just a bitch cop out of them, dude. Like, <laughs> it's so basic, man. Dude, it was still hilarious. So the, like, the, the fucking antagonist was super basic, fucking bland was as he? fuck. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. He was just a power hungry bitch. That's yeah, I didn't really get no much from him. But oh, I think besides that, I think the rest of the movie was, was good. He was a power hungry bitch and a fucking goddamn budget one for all for one. Wow, shots fired. Strong emotions really by Brian. Was. I mean, no, man, no, he, he's right, though. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> it was a budget off for one. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking bland yeah. and basic, man. But, yeah. I still, I mean, I still thought it was. I, still I mean, animation was dope. Good. The fucking 1%, 100% fucking joining the fingers, whatever the fuck that happened there. <laughs> it was pretty cool, but it was like bitch cop out where they both. It was a movie. What did you expect? It wasn't canon. Shit. I got one of all that. I got one of uh, Sasha's students I to mean... cry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I got a bunch of the people in the theaters to cry too. I don't want to. Oh, oh dude, my god, that was, was hilarious. Oh, oh, god. Where... oh god, no. <laughs> I thought horrible. that was hilarious. Where it was oh, just, it's just dead Ru- sound. Ruining it's the dead... theater experience. Goddamn high schoolers! Did you hear one chick in the front just bawling? Goddamn something. high schoolers! <laughs> I thought yeah, I that's... enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. That's life. That's why, honestly. I love One Piece. I have not watched a single One Piece movie because Naruto ruined all those. I remember Dragon Ball Z <laughs> used to be awesome because you think about the first, like, Dead Zone was really well done. Uh, what was that? World's Strongest, Tree of Might. Yeah, all yeah. of those were entertaining. I was like, wow, these are awesome. And then you go to Naruto, and I remember the third movie was like Rock Lee riding it's an like elephant. <laughs> yeah, like, what a, this is the worst idea ever for a movie. Like, the point of the movie, in my opinion, is to add even better animation and special effects to it to the point where you're like, whoa, this is what I'm talking about. Like a condensed, concentrated version of the show within an hour and a half. And my gosh, some of these storylines were terrible. Yeah. So, The best yeah. movie, though, of, of the Naruto franchise was the Boruto one. Um, um, I disagree. I think, uh, which one was it? I, okay, so I don't know them by numbers, but there was one where I think they made like a clone of Kakashi or something like that. And uh, that was like the first one, wasn't it? 
No, 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 no. It, I oh. want to say it was like called like Blood Brothers or something. Damn, I, I thought that one was the best one. Like in terms of entertainment and overall fight. Uh, let me look at the Naruto. Mm-hmm. No, that, that one was really good. I don't remember which one it like it actually like uh in like the timeline. I'm not quite sure. But uh, I li- I like the Boruto one. I also like Naruto the Last because it was uh it was really it was really uh nice. Oh yeah, the last was really good too. Yep. Uh, basically, got to see Naruto and uh and uh Hinata hook up. Bonds. I think it's called Bond. Naruto put in the movie Bond. Oh, that was the first Shippuden movie then. Wait, no, it? no, it wasn't the first Shippuden movie. Are we sure? Damn, I'm like. It was the last one. Maybe it wasn't Maybe. Bonds. I don't remember now. <laughs> I'm so confused. This is gonna, know once is... this show blows up, there's going to be all these people like, how do you not know this? Yeah. That was the fourth of Mary <laughs> you're, 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 <laughs> you're overestimating us right now. Uh, you're not gonna I get, can't wait. We're not going to get that level. Yeah, we're a bunch of casuals. I'm yeah. sorry. Um, to an extent, though. It's all right. Johan will support us. Yes. <laughs> Much love, brother. Thanks, but, Johan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So that's just Oh, it be. wasn't Bonds. Sorry, guys. I had to look it up. It was Blood Prison. Oh, God. I have no idea which one that one is then. It says Naruto is framed for attempted murder of the Raikage. As he tries to break out of the prison, he discovers its secrets. I'm pretty damn sure that was the one. Hmm. I don't remember which one that one. I think it was that one. Gotcha. I have no idea. Okay, never mind. All right, yeah, whatever. They, they had a, they had a few good ones, they, but they had some awful ones. Oh yeah, the, I'm telling you, the one where I'm pretty sure it was with uh, Rock Lee. Yeah, it was like the circus one. Yeah, yeah, that was, no, that was a bunch of animals. That was just terrible. Yep. <laughs> I remember we were trying to watch it at your place, and I think uh, about half of us fell asleep. Yep. That, that's how terrible it was. I don't think I've ever fell asleep to a movie that I had to read. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure that was the first one. Yeah. Anyway. Well, oh, uh, before before we end it, Sasha, is there any shows you're planning on watching next season? Um, very good question. I, I will check out Tower of God, and I I do want to check out that one really weird one. Um, Klepner. Like stuffed animal. What's it called? Yep. Oh, Klepner. 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 Yeah. 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 That, that one just came out today. But okay, I I think those are the two that I want to watch. Obviously, I'll continue watching One Piece, and then I think I think that's about it. I don't know if there's anything else. No, no, because the rest are just the rest that we're watching are sequels. So, yeah, is Re Zero this season? Oh, uh, that's next season. It got, it was, it got delayed okay. because Corona. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Yeah, so I think just that. I'll probably honestly read more manga this season because uh, Promise Neverland. Woo, that's hype. <laughs> um, Made in Abyss. I'm curious to see where that went, uh, and then obviously, a Demon Slayer. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So. Yeah, this may be a manga manga time. I mean, you might, no as, you might as well. I know for us, there's a there's a bunch of huge shows that are coming up this season, so it's it's going to be a big season for us. I mean, it's a mm-hmm. season season of sequels, so. Yeah, and honestly, I've debated about whether or not I should give Attack on Titan a second because I watched it many eons ago, and the first episode was so depressing. But honestly, <laughs> made the abyss. Is slightly depressing. Promise Neverland, slightly depressing. So I'm like, I mean, maybe there's a theme here. I mean, Attack on Titan has more, <laughs> has more people dying. So that's like. Yeah, we'll see. I, I just remember that first episode. I was not in the right mind state. I think I just had uh, shoulder surgery. And Emmanuel was like, <laughs> hey, you should watch this show. And I'm like, giant naked dude eating the dude's mom. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Damn. That basically sounds like me. My, my experience with the first episode. Yeah, yeah. So I, I might give a chance. We'll see. Yeah. But the opening theme, two gangs. I love it. It's a classic. Yep. Okay. All right. So that's that was just going to be it for because that uh, My Hero Game was the last thing we had to talk about. So that's going to be the end of the show. So this is just like a little, little preview of um, the spring season. For, for And then next week, um, most of the shows we we're talking about should air the first episode besides Sword Art. So uh, next week, we're just give our. Uh, impressions of the first episode so yeah yeah i got you the season is good (laughs) it's gonna be good hopefully friends excited yes i'm very excited so at the very least (laughs) it's gonna be better than the shit show that was winner so yeah so it won't won't make me feel like jumping off a building (laughs) when uh when i have to come up and talk to talk about those damn shows yikes i'm very curious to see brian because i feel like he's had the most 
contrasting reactions. Like he was so hyped during my hero, and then just to hear him say "dog shit," I'm very <laughs> curious to see what his reactions are. But yes, I agree. All right, so that's gonna be it. <laughs> I just want to thank the listeners who are making it this far. It's actually not as long as I thought it was going to be. So hopefully we can, oh. we can stop the two-hour episodes. Oh, for, it, yep. yeah, for, for our, our upcoming uh, shows, we're definitely going to have to put a ta- time limit on them because there, we have a lot of shows we're going to have to talk about. Indeed. Big shows, All too. All our Nakama out there, keep on knocking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Same. All right. So, yeah. Thanks to the listeners. I want to thank our panel for joining me today. Most Anytime. welcome. <laughs> Very right. welcome. Yep. All right. We'll <laughs> see you all next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>